Hi there. In this update, uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to lay a line over a bar chart. A lot of users asked me, um, can we draw a line over a bar using different metric? So this is not exactly like, you know, mix up with bar and line, but um, it serves a purpose. Let's take a look how we achieve that. So let's add it to this uh, um, simple chart. As you can see, I loaded the data set uh, from uh, some financial transaction data. Uh, it's demo data, by the way. So to give you a better uh, conversation history so you can know what I, what I have done this. So basically, you can ask the AI how many rows I have and... Uh, um, you know, the, the schema, like column list, uh, what is there? Basically, this is a Google Spreadsheets. By the way, every time when you click a message, uh, it will automatically copy it to a clipboard. So this is like for easily you can paste the same message and, you know, doing some modifications. Uh, I understand it's a little bit off uh, topic, but I just want to uh, give you the whole history. I end up with this chart, right? So... Basically, in these charts, you can see um, we are having two metrics here. One metric is uh, uh, generated as a sum of the amount. Basically, it generates the total, you know, the values uh, um, along the timeline, right? This is breakdown by timeline. So you can see the time series is turned on. And we break it down by months by months, basically. Uh, so this is the 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 one uh, ser uh one metric, yeah. Uh, the other metric is basically we want to see in this uh, in this month like how many number of transactions we have. So basically, this is count uh, count of number of transactions we have. So as you can see here, uh, we have uh, two metric. Uh, so now you're wondering, hey, uh, one way is basically we do uh, side by side, right? So because these two uh, values uh, differ a lot, if you put them in the same axis, uh, for example, like, uh, uh, oh, it's not bar, I'm sorry, uh, it's metric. So let's say if you don't do that, as you can see, both of the metric will be showing using the same. Um, so let's keep it big. Using the same, like you know, the uh, the axis. So in this scale, it's harder to see because it's just like um, completely different units, basically. So that's why we bring it. We uh, bring um, bring this metric to the right side, so they can have different scale, as you can see. This is like 1,000, this is like, you know, less than 100, right? So maximum what is 35. So now back to our topic. Uh, how do you uh, get a line over this chart? Um, this is a basic workaround. Uh, we are not really translate this uh, bar into, uh, how to say, into a line. But instead, we're using, we introduced a new type of trend line. The trend line basically is just a, a regional value. So if you go to the bar chart setting, you scroll down to, uh, oh, actually it's already here. So this is the second metric, right? Trend line, you can enable trend lines on every single different metric. For the first metric, we don't have trend line. The second one, um, you know, probably some of you tried this before. We have average, we have um, regression, uh, we have slope, um, showing message for you. And uh, this is the one we just added, basically this is showing each data point uh, is original value one by one. So you click here, as you can see, everything is going top of the, you know, the second bar. Uh, the value will be showing up in the middle. So if we turn on the value show, basically, as you can see, this is all the values. And of course, I mean, uh, you want to tune the, the format a little bit. So if you go to the metrics again and just sort of focus on, here is a little bit weird because um, um, by default, we actually generate two decimals, but 
here because it's the value is not set so you just need to click and you can see single dash more two dash more and even zero basically it goes back so this is a little bit of uh, issue you need to hunt and uh, fix it but let's just let you know uh, now you can see this is basically the line so what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to um let's go back to ball and do a little bit of styling so this line color we can you know uh customize it for example i want to customize it as dark blue um, and then i want to make this make it look sick sicker right so now i want to make the ball actually you know uh going away so the way we're doing that is basically we change the color to uh same color as background so if you go to the settings you can see your background color it's it's actually a gradient color so you can see it's a little bit green so um yeah i mean if you can use uh, using solid color you know the color code you can just copy there but I, here i just want to get a color that is close to that so basically i'm going to just like moving 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 here how does that look right so basically now you can get the results is uh, uh it's basically um you have main matrix on the left side and you have uh, some, uh, you know, the uh, another matrix which which you want to uh, use in line to show over. So now you can get exactly result for that. Um, of course, you can continue doing some styling for them, but this one I want to hide it. I don't even don't want to show that. And I want to add text foundations to tell people this is like a uh, um, number of transactions, right? I can do, I can do some uh, design work here, basically. Uh, I just found it using the same dark blue color. So I can get some line. Uh, I want to change this to not auto because auto basically generate all different i just want to get it 1000 and if i want to get 1.0 it's automated this way um 17 is two six 14 is just right okay so yeah so i want to stop here I, I know it's a little bit long but i just want to show you as many tricks as i can on columns uh, system basically you can get the line chart you want um sorry i made a mistake again not a line chart you can lay out a line chance um uh, you know using another metric basically on top of uh, existing bar chart uh that's uh, that's a trick and a useful useful trick uh for many of you check it out and uh, test it out by yourself uh let me know if you have any questions Thank you. Bye.